Moving on to IVF, IVF uh, traditionally have been started to overcome infertility associated with tubal damage. However, it has been modified further with the coming on of uh, intra uh, cytoplasmic sperm injection, ICSI, and with that, male factor has also become a major indication for IVF. Now, IVF treatment is actually pretty straightforward. The main purpose, there are a few steps in IVF treatment. The first step is uh, use of medication to induce uh, follicular growth. And subsequently, there will be a procedure to pick up the eggs. And these eggs will be in the laboratory whereby they will be inseminated or injected with sperm. And subsequently, the embryos um, that uh, were formed will be cultured until they are, um, uh, they have developed into uh, um, brassosis or day five embryos and where they will be transferred back to the endometrial cavity. Um, it is um, very extremely effective when we are dealing with uh, medical conditions such as tubal disorder, tubal obstructions, and male factor, whereby there might be very poor fertilizations in, um, in vivo. So once her conditions has been assessed by the doctor and the husband has been assessed by the doctor, she would be stu stimulated, injected with uh, hormones to stimulate her ovaries to uh, produce more eggs and that period will take about uh, about 10 to 12 days and after that the egg collection will be done in the IVF center here uh, over here I'll be working closely with the doctor to in the sense that to collect the eggs to assess the egg quality and so on and so forth so once the eggs have been collected and uh, stored in the uh, place in the laboratory then, then the husbands will have to produce a sample and the sample will go through a series of preparation to harvest the best sperm and after, then during that day uh, the sperm will, uh, the egg will be inseminated by, uh, with the sperm either, to, uh, a, either IVF or in vitro fertilization that means that you just mix the eggs and the sperm and put it in the dish and allow them to fertilize naturally uh, or by injecting a single sperm into the egg to effect uh, fertilization. Now the first one IVF is not so suitable for most couples, you know, only uh, sperm uh, patients who have very good sperm. Uh, so fertilization may be low 50% or sometimes even 0% but for ICSI, uh, ICSI means injecting a single sperm into the egg because this technique uh, ensures one sperm gets to the egg so there is at least 80% uh, chance for the sperm to fertilize the egg and of course uh, that in that sense that more embryos can be uh, produced and created so once I, the embryos have been produced, I mean have been fertilized, the embryos have been produced, the embryos will be grown in an incubator for about five days until they reach the blastocyst stage. And at that point, uh, one of the blastocysts will be selected for transfer back to the patient. And if the remaining blastocysts are in good condition, we will freeze them for future use.